and then we hit record and there we go so this is me without uh being in work clothes which is good i get sick of being in work clothes they suck so no work clothes uh let's let's have a bit of a therapeutic conversation about being vulnerable being vulnerable not being a toxic male or even a toxic female being vulnerable is uh important in my opinion it's a very important thing do you talk about your feelings let's doctor feel it i want to know if you talk about your feelings because you are the only one who can change your life Dr. Phil. For real though. Like being a tough guy. What, what does that do? What's it, what, what, what the hell? What, what's being a tough guy get you? Not a lot. Might get you some bedroom time. You know, some girls like the bad boys. All that good stuff. But what's it getting you otherwise? It just doesn't seem like a very cool way to live. But being vulnerable... I actually pride myself on being able to say how I feel, talk about how I feel, get upset, cry, like have feelings, be emotional, be a cuddler, love cuddling. Who doesn't love cuddling? You know, being open just to new experiences, new things, growing as a person, it's okay, like completely okay to be just fucking human, man. Like you do not have to be super tough person and never show feelings and never show love and like hug your children for God's sakes. Hug people. Feels pretty good. It's nice. It's a hell of a lot better than being all like, yeah, bruh. I could beat everyone's ass, drink 24 Bud Lights, never cry. I don't cry. Well, you probably are hurting inside something awful if you never cry. It's very therapeutic. Let's do it together real quick. Not really. I don't have anything to cry about right now. But seriously, it's, it's good to just let go sometimes. Let go. Have you ever heard the story? And I talked about this on the uh, Obscure Hotline podcast. Obscure Hotline, me and Bronson from Audio Hotline. We do a little podcast. We have a lot of fun doing it. It usually gets X-rated or gross or just weird, which I like. I like that kind of shit. Um, but we, somehow we talked about something, and it brought up a, a group of people I forgot about. And it is a group of men. Not a specific group, but, like, there's men out there that do not wipe their ass because that is gay (laughs) it's funny just to say it like it's super gross and gay to put anything near your asshole how fucked up is that like my wife is in all these you know facebook groups of moms and like i've seen multiple she you know showed me multiple people asking for help like my husband or boyfriend will not wipe properly because he says nothing gets near my asshole not even toilet paper. You gross motherfucker. That is disgusting. That is fucked up, man. You've got something really fucked up going on. And the only thing I can think of is you really want something in your asshole, but you're so toxic that you, uh, you like your denial, the art, the art of denial. Powerful thing. But that's fucking gross. Like one woman said that any time that they had sex, like, you know, she get on top and after they were done fucking streak into bed that is gross folks that is fucked up I would rather take 12 dicks in my ass than leave a streak on the bed because I won't wipe god what the fuck that's fucked up just saying super fucked up let yourself go man quit being so fucked up quit being so weird about everything like finger your ass or something (laughs) find out if it's for you 
Let's put a finger in it. It'll be fine. So it's, it's your body. It's your finger. Just fucking do it. Finger your butthole. It's fine. I mean that. I'm joking, you know, and I'm being goofy, but for real, like, if you're curious about it, be curious about it. If somebody asks if you're curious about it, tell them you're curious about it. Who gives a fuck what they think? Who gives a fuck what they think? Fuck everybody else, man. Like, find your circle. The way to find your circle is to be honest and open and vulnerable and just like be exactly what you feel. Be exactly what you feel. Find, and then you'll find your circle of people. And th this boils down to like other things too, which this was inspired by a podcast I listened to recently. But, but being open to being wrong, like being open to being criticized for being wrong. Like I, I am all over the fact that there's a lot of stuff that I don't know. And I will just outright admit 100% when I don't know something like lavalier mics I you know I do the YouTube thing I do an audio gear channel play with microphones interfaces all that stuff uh, I, I don't know shit about lavalier mics and I can't really so far in my experience I have not been able to make them sound good just can't do it you know it's I and to me I just don't think they sound that great anyways. I'm sure there are some out there that do. But I, uh, I like a microphone. You know, I like I like a full-size, regular microphone. But if somebody were to ask me, like, for help with lab mics, I will simply be like, sorry, man, I don't know what I'm doing with those. I don't know how to operate them. Uh, I don't... I'm just not educated on it. And it's so okay to say that. It is so okay to admit that. Like I had a person call me at work the other day from work. It was a work call. And they asked me, you know, and, and I'm in a position where I should know a lot, but I don't really. Like there's stuff I don't know and stuff that I haven't gotten to to know. And that is okay. You know, I'm working on it. But she asked me about a certain situation and, and I said, you know what? I was like, I think the answer is this. But I am not confident enough in that answer for you to run with it. So how about you call this person who I know knows the answer to this question and get that concrete answer. Don't take mine and run with it. Go get the concrete answer because I'm not confident enough in this to, to for you to like do this and, and I for me to fuck up your whole world on it. Like, yeah, don't do that probably just not a good idea ask someone else ask someone else I'm ignorant to the situation and boom that should be that it should be that easy but we make it more complicated all the time it's never that easy kind of silly be open be honest all that alright so switching gears here I want to talk about just <laughs> I just want to bitch I'm just going to bitch about some shit so I've got these uh, you know you grow up and you go through your circle of friends like different circles you know and those circles bring on people from other circles and then those circles kind of intertwine and overlap and, and you know you, you, you find people that you're like okay with but don't necessarily want to be like buddy buddy with or super friends with or anything like that and, uh, you know, there, there's this one in particular, a dude that's in one of the circles of my friends. He's really fucking whiny and bitches about everything. And I, I you know, I don't got time for the negative shit. But anyways, I joined a, uh, a fantasy football league with this dude in it. And I was just trying to be polite. And, uh, cause everybody was kind of chatting, talking. And I was like, where, where are you working at now, dude? Like, it's, you know, big group chat. Because I, I work kind of beside him. He works across the street from me, and I used to see him all the time. And I don't hate the guy. You know, it's nothing like that. Nothing like that. Um, but I, I was like, you know, where you work? 
where are you working at, dude? Like, I don't, I don't run into you anymore. We used to pass each other all the time, like going to lunch, this and that. And, uh, you know, he switched jobs, blah, blah, blah. And he said, and it, this is, this is what kills me right here. The, uh, the ever constant need for social media acceptance. He's like, you would know that if you were my friend, if you were, you would know that if you were on my friends list. And I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck me. And like, just can't you be acquaintances and like talk to people without being Facebook friends or social media buddies? It's fucking pathetic. I just, I can't stand it. Like, <laughs> so I'm the, this thing, this league is all about trash talking, which I've been really up in my game at the trash talk. And, uh, I just, what he said, you'd know that if you'd be on my friends list, I just said, no, thanks. Like, no, thanks. And I was, you know, wasn't a compl complete dick. I told him, I was like, no, I kid, I kid. I just don't really add people on Facebook. I'm trying to get my friend's number down because I don't fucking need to see everybody's shit. I don't need to know how people live. Like, unless I actually have a, a line of communication that I want to stay open. Like I've kind of been booting people on the friends list rather than adding every little fucking person that I know exists, uh, which is what everyone does, which is why you see, which is why you see turd bag humans. Sorry, I had to adjust it. Uh, which is why you see turd bag humans with like 5,000 friends. Like, cause they just add everyone. Like if you're a friend of a friend, they're like, Ooh, add numbers, numbers, push those numbers up. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm like, fuck that man. I want to be under a hundred. Like, and I'm not, but I want to be, I want to be like 99. If I hit 99 someday, when I do the whole clean out shit, I'd actually like to just deactivate it period. But doing podcasts and audio and, and, you know, having family, you know, having family that live in other places. I don't do that. I go ahead and just, you know, beetle out and let it be. But I just found that to be entertaining. Like, you'd know that if you were on my friends list. Fucking shit, buddy. You're a grown ass adult. Quit. Quit crying about shit. Can't even make a trade in this goddamn football league without this dude being like, what the fuck was that? Oh, it's so terrible. I offered something better and he took that deal. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fucking man baby syndrome. And there's there's tons of people that have man baby syndrome. Watch this dude fuck find this. Be like, I'm fucked pissed at you, Barker. Like, hey man, truth hurts. You know, just quit whining about shit. We're being so fucking babyfied. God damn. Let's be adults. We don't have to be Facebook friends to have a every once in a while occasional chat. And quite frankly, I don't want to know when the fuck you're going to a job interview and posting a selfie about it. It doesn't matter what you are. Male, female, friend, foe, doesn't matter. If you post a selfie and say I'm going to a job interview, I'm fucking removing you from my friends list because it's just fucking lame. I don't need that shit clogging up what is otherwise a very entertaining feed that I have built for myself. And if you fuck with that, you know, I'll either have to unfollow or unfriend. And it's, it should be okay. It should be okay to do that. It should be perfectly fine to fucking trim the fat on a list of people that you care to see post shit and that you don't care. And I really don't have a problem with said dude. Not at all. Like, just the compatibility on more of a occasional acquaintance level is zero. You know, it's just zero. I, I don't have time for the few friends that I do have because I'm a dick. Obviously. I'm recording about this shit. Clearly I'm a dick, but that's okay. If people know you're a dick, they'll stay away from you. And if you're a dick to someone, it means you want them to stay away from you. And not like dick outwardly. Like I'm not just going to be fucking mean, but I wish people would just understand. Like if someone seriously told me, which I would never confront anyone about not being their Facebook friend. But if for some reason I was in a group of people and so-and-so said, oh yeah, did you see Barker's post the other day? And they were like, uh, 
you know, no, I'm, I'm not Facebook friends with him. And I'm in that conversation. Like, that's fine. Like, I'm not going to look at him and be like, yo, what's up with that? What's, what's up with that? I'm not cool enough to be your friend, which I would never say. But like, if they interjected before I could even acknowledge it or anything like it. And by the way, Barker, like, you know, we're, it's nothing personal that you're not on my friends list. And I'd be like, dude, it's cool. Totally cool. A hundred percent. doesn't matter, you know? And if they had a problem with me and told me, I'd be like, I'll stay away. No problem. It's, it's, it's not hard. You know, you don't have to be pissed. Like we, we should be able to be more honest with each other and not blow smoke up each other's ass and be like, we're friends, rainbows, unicorns, puppies. No, like, fuck, you don't have to be mean to people, but I would never confront someone about me not being on their social media list. I don't give a fuck. Like, and they don't give a fuck clearly. And that should not have any, you know, bearing on anything in the future. Like if we run into each other, like, Hey buddy, how you doing? It, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, shouldn't matter should not matter so the guy that i won't friends list got no problem with you to the guy i won't friend on facebook because facebook's fucking lame anyways no no issues no issues here just more a matter of like i don't want to inflate my friends list with connections i don't really have a connection with of much kind you know is what it is should be okay Fuck, why are people so complicated? Why is everything such a contest? And that, and that led me to talking about people just being outwardly fake nice when you know they're forcing it. Like, I don't want nothing to do with those people. Like, most people perceive that as true niceness. Like, oh, they're so nice. Like, no, they're so full of shit. Like, they're not mean, but, like, they're being way too fake nice. And I don't have time for that. I'm out. I don't want to be... I just, fuck, man have higher uh have higher requirements for people that take your time for god's sakes that's why when somebody has this long in the tooth fucking breathy story that they're repeating themselves in like i slowly see myself out i'll like straight up walk away or just kind of look at my watch and be like oh shit and then i'll walk away i got quit uh, time is so valuable said that before but again if somebody decides they want no part of me because I dip out of conversations or don't want to hear someone repeat themselves and talk about a story that's irrelevant to anything about me or what I'm doing or what I'm there for fucking dipping I'm fucking out and I expect the same like if somebody walks away while I'm telling a story I fuck I I don't even like it's not even anything to acknowledge you just go about your day. Fuck, it's so complicated. Please. Please don't make it complicated, humans. You want to be around someone, something, an event? Be there. If you don't, walk the fuck away. It doesn't mean you're hateful. It just means like you've got something that your time would be served better doing. Goddamn. Shouldn't be hard. I love when people tell me why they don't want to hang out with me or be around me. Not that it happens all the time, but it has. And when they do, I'm like, dude, I respect that. I totally respect the fact that me as a person wastes your time if you choose to spend time with me. If you do not enjoy being around me or enjoy anything that I talk about or enjoy my sense of humor or enjoy anything about me, please, for fuck's sake, don't force it. Like get away from me because I don't want you to waste your time I am not everyone's cup of tea and you for fuck's sake are not everyone's cup of tea either and the sooner you can realize that shit and just find your circle like I keep saying man I need it. that maybe that's maybe that's what a podcast I need find your circle and I just talk about this shit non-stop just because it's like church to me like I am fully convicted to only spending my time on people in my my circle not the circles that intertwine and make up that fucking logo from Iron Man 3 for the Mandarin but my circle 
I love me some meat. I don't actually. I do have a lot of things I don't like about myself, but I, I do love the fact that I don't like wasting time on things that I know are a waste of time. Like this podcast. Ain't nobody watching this shit. It's a waste of time. <laughs>